Avocado, a super delicious food. In this video, we will share the background of avocado, how to determine when the avocado is ripe and how to eat it. Let's go! The avocado, Persia Americana, originated in South Central Mexico, sometime between 7000 and 5000 BC. But it was several millennia before this wild variety was cultivated. And it has slowly became the favorite of many over time and also known as a superfood today. It is found in streets of Mexico and markets. It is grown on trees and harvest in farms all around the world. A study published in 2015 in the Journal of the American Heart Association found out that, by making avocados part of your daily healthy eating plan, it helps improve bad cholesterol levels in overweight and obese people. The fruit is now a staple and can be found in supermarkets around the globe and serve in restaurants. Let's get to how to prepare the most simple recipe of eating avocado. Here we have three avocados, here's how to tell if the avocado is ripe. This is green and hard, so it's not ready. The second one has spots of purple but it's still hard to the touch. One more day for this. Let's put it back. The third one feels slightly soft and more than half of the avocado has turned dark purple. This is ready. Let's look at an avocado that is overly ripe. Notice the left one it's real dark. It's black in color. Here's how to open an avocado, I'm no chef, but this is easy for many, just be careful when handling a knife. First, try to cut through the middle portion of the avocado, stop when you feel the core. Go in a circular motion until one round has been completed. Oops, I accidentally went more than a round. Twist and split it in half, now the core has been revealed. Be careful with this part, let's try taking out the core like so. One the knife secures in the core we twist it to bring it out. Next, scoop out the avocado with a spoon, you can choose to cut it to slices or spread it like butter straight on a slice of bread. For me I am slicing it for fun. You don't have to cut it like this, be flexible when cooking, there is no fixed way. Let's bring it over and put it on the bread, not serving a queen. So don't mind the mess. If you're feeling healthy you can skip the salt. I'm sprinkling salt and black pepper for mine. I don't have freshly ground pepper, subscribe to my channel so I can buy one. Yes, I know I know, I made a mess, I am sorry. I am not a chef, I am just a regular guy. It's done and ready to eat. Another way which my mom prefers is to eat it straight with a spoon. No salt no seasoning, the most natural way to eat it. I'm young so I prefer some salt in mine. Here's a few fun facts while you watch me struggle to scoop it out. Avocados are in the same family as cinnamon, it is considered high in fiber. Next, we will share a delicious avocado smoothie with coconut cream. We will be using one avocado to make two smoothies. First we cut open the avocado, let's give it a twist. Second, we remove the core. Then we dig out the avocado with a spoon. Try to dig out as much as possible. Let's not waste food. If you notice any stems, please remove them unless you want to eat some wood. That's what she said. You can use a knife or a spoon to make it into smaller pieces. This allows easier blending later on. Let's gather the ingredients. One cut up avocado. Half a cup of water. Three quarters cups of sugar. And at least 50 milliliters of coconut cream. Let's start making the sugar syrup. If you have sugar syrup at home you can skip this step. We gonna pour in half a cup of water in and let it boil. Careful not to raise the temperature too much, we don't want to burn the sugar. Once it starts to bubbles, we can pour in the sugar we prepared. 
Keep stirring until the sugar has melted. Once all the sugar has melted, you can turn off the heat. Now we wait for the sugar syrup to cool down. While waiting, please subscribe to the channel and comment. After the syrup has cooled down, we poured it into a glass jar. So we can keep it for other uses. The reason why the syrup looks diluted is to have more control over the amount of sweetness and easier to pour it out when we need it. In goes the avocado. Next 4 tablespoons of sugar. If you have a sweet tooth you can put in 6 to 8 tablespoons. Next, let's pour in around 50 milliliters of coconut cream. Add in 8 to 10 cubes of ice. In around 100 to 250 milliliters of water, if you prefer a thicker smoothie you can add in lesser. Blend until smooth. And that's it. Creamy and tasty avocado coconut smoothie. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click on the bell notification icon for more food content.